Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Sigil. Sigil. The powers the of war. We really need like another table to put this on. Maybe. Okay. Anyway. Like rules. Okay. Um, so Sigil is a custom deck dice combat game uh, for two to four players. Designed by Dustin Crouch for Breaking Teeth Games. Plays yes. about 30 to 90 minutes. Sounds good. We shall so. take it to the table and we will show you how it plays. Hello and welcome to the table. Here we have Sigil Powers of War set up for two players. Yes. Yes. So what is Sigil Powers of War? So Sigil is a, I guess you can kind of call it a tactical card driven, uh, card and dice driven mm -hmm. combat game uh, slash deck builder uh, set in the fictional land of Tiramel. Yes. Uh, for the playthrough and for the uh, the prototype demo copy we received, uh, we were we were given two of the four races that I believe are going to come with the Kickstarter. So uh, the two races being uh, orcs and human slash elves, which I believe are called the Alliance. Um, and yours is called the Horde, is it? The Horde. The Horde. The All Horrible right. Horde. So, so what do we have? Basically, we, ha we each have a 40 card deck, which represent our, the units we'll be able to summon. Uh, you've got some interrupt cards, some Auras. aura cards, which are more or less buffs, um, and the mana generators, mm -hmm. right? So the, and the, this game is really, is think about Magic the Gathering, the card game. No, uh, you've played Magic the Gathering, right, Francis? Many, many years. Yes. Nope. I so <laughs> for those of you who haven't played Magic, and those of you who have, um, basically Magic the Gathering is, is, is two summoner wizards battling it out, summoning cards, uh, heroes or monsters, using mana. And, they, and they're setting out mana pools and generating enough mana each turn to play down cards and attack their opponents. In this game, you sort of take that that basic uh, mechanic and apply it to a tactical board, which kind of adds a whole lot of um, you know variety to the play because it's not just card on card, right? So what you're going to do every turn is you're going to generate mana, you're going to play cards, you're going to summon more warriors, uh, and you're all trying to go after your opponent's sigil. So on the board, you see we each have our sigil. And the sigil starts with the d20 with 20 health. Mm -hmm. So the alliance is going to start on that side of the board. The horde starts down here. We each start with 20 health. The winner is the first person to destroy the opponent's sigil by reducing its health to zero. Each side starts with one warlord. And we had two warlords to choose from. Mm -hmm. So I've chosen Sven Strongbow. He is a human elf warlord, mm. uh, ranged, he's an archer, and we'll go through the stats in a sec. So who do you okay. have? Okay, I have Rulog. He's an orc. He is a warlord orc. <laughs> All right, so how does this work? So we'll just jump into setup and we'll kind of explain the game as we go through it in our normal fashion. So we would normally roll the dice to see who gets the highest roll in the d20s and then the, the the person with the highest roll goes first, but I'll let you go first. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. Yes, so I believe the first thing you do is, is you yep, being the first I'm gonna player. I'm going to place Rulog, so I can place him in one of the spaces behind my sigil. So here or here, uh, I will put him right here. All right, I will place Sven Strongbow up here across the board. And it's really inconsequential where you start them mm. because you're going to have at least at this point, where you move them later is very, yeah. very important. So uh, we each now draw five cards off the top of our deck. And this is going to be our starting hand. Now, what's most important about this starting hand is that each of you have to have at least one mana generator card. Right. Or you can mulligan. You'll have to do that two more times if you don't have one. Do you have a mana generator? I do. You do. I do as well. So we will keep our starting hands. Mm-hmm. Very good. So. Uh, you are going to get to go first, and we will show you exactly how the turn order goes, uh, all the different turn phases, and we'll talk through that. All right, so Frances is going to jump into her turn, but I'm going to go through the turn phases real quick. So the game comes with this nice reference card that tells you exactly what's going to happen in each turn phase. So at the beginning of your turn, the first thing you do is draw a card. You will then generate mana. 
you'll have your first action summon phase where you can do uh, play action cards, play summon cards, uh, and most importantly, you can play one mana generator in this phase. Then you will get to do movement, so you move all your units. Uh, if they're adjacent to any other units or if they're ranged and within range, you can perform combat. Then you'll have a second opportunity for actions and summoning, but you mm -hmm. cannot play mana generators that round or that phase. And then you end your turn. Discard down to seven Very cards simple. if you have more. Done. And you just rinse and repeat. So we're going to rip through this pretty quickly, I think. Yep. So, and we'll, we'll talk through what we're doing and, and uh, sort of the strategy behind each of the characters. Uh, I'll go through character stats real quick. So on each card, including your, your Warlord card, there is this sort of uh, this hex. Four quad hex. I don't know if you want to call it a quad <laughs> hex. But yeah. it's four hexes, right? Each of them representing a different stat that uh, of importance for your characters. Uh, the top hex is your movement. So Sven has a movement of four. The left and right represent attack and defense. So he has a three attack, three defense. And the bottom hex, the white one, represents your total health. If that health is reduced to zero, you die. If you're being attacked and you defend and the attack value is greater than your defense, you count the number of points greater than, and they call it critical damage, but that's damage that you take to your health. So you can absorb it with your armor and then you start taking damage. Uh, this keyword's range has a range of six when attacking. Uh, if I pay two mana, his special ability, special ability is he gains backswing at the end of the turn. Backswing in this game will explain during combat, but every time somebody attacks you in melee, the defender actually uses their combat dice rolls to attack back on the attacker. So it's never safe in melee combat here. Another uh, important piece of information on this card is the number in the lower right on your warlords. That is your, they call it your combat skill, or mm -hmm. no, your, uh, not your combat skill. It's more like your, your tactical, your leadership ability, or command points. And so Sven has a, str uh, a command ability of five. That means he can control up to five units on the board at any time, and I can't summon any more than that. Um, and then when they die, you flip it over and you start to lose health. So that's, that's another key mechanic in this game. If your uh, warlord dies, your sigil will lose one life mm -hmm. every turn. Yeah. So you do not want to lose your, your, your warlord because you can't bring him back. Nope. So Rulog, right. on the other hand, is very yeah, different. Yeah, so Rulog uh, is this kind of, I mean, he's like really big. So. Hulking orc. <laughs> he is. He's got these like blades and armor and stuff. So he moves very slowly. So he moves only uh, to a distance of three. But his attack is a six mm -hmm. and his defense is a four. Um, and then he's got um, a health of six as well. So um, he can command up to 10 units, mm. which is awesome. Ridiculous. Um, and, but his power isn't as great. He doesn't have range or anything. Um, and his his power allows me to, you know, all summon units gain one move until the end of the turn. And it can only be used once per turn. So. Right. If you pay yeah. one, one mana cost. Yeah. Right? It's, I don't know. So it's kind of crappy, but but he's good. At it helps, yeah. Well, I you like got 10 him. units out there. All right, so I'm going to start my turn then. You are. That's all right. You're jumping in. Okay. I'm jumping right in. So, draw. You drew a card? Yep. Generate right, mana. So I'm draw. I'm going to generate one mana. So, our sigils each generate one mana. So, even at the beginning of the game, we end up getting one. So, that's good. And then I have one mana to spend. And I am. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, I'm gonna that. go ahead and do this. So I'm going to play my mana spawning pool. So this is just like your basic common mana generator. Yes. What is the special ability and on your on your spawning pool, though? Because I know on my spawning pool during my mana generation phase, add one horde mana token to your mana reserve. Oh, so that sounds like a very generic. It's ability. very generic. Yes. Yeah. So there are. There are like basic. Yeah, that's not that's not like my heroic mana right. generator. I have some cool ones. So there's these these uh, tokens represent your mana pools, right? Uh, your mana generators, rather, and they can be placed either next to your champion or, or your warlord, rather, or within three hexes of your sigil. Mm -hmm. So that's where the first one gets placed. Yeah. Uh, if you put it black side up, that that represents your common mana generator. If you put it gray side up, that represents a heroic. I believe right. that's what it's called, right? Oh, yeah, heroic, heroic generator. And those are, have they do the same thing? They generate one mana, but they also have some some other uh, ability. Um, and I will put this. Oh, I don't know. I guess there. Okay, mana generator. Placement is very important in this yeah. game because that's where you will spawn units. Mm -hmm. They spawn out of these generators. Yep. So you should use them tactically 
uh, on the field because that's where you're going to be getting your reinforcements throughout the game. Uh, the only rule about placing these things is they can't be next to each other and they can't be within the other player's three hex zone of mm -hmm. control. So otherwise it's free game. Yep. All right, so that was that. Um, so now I can move. I'm able to move, so All right. I will yeah. go ahead and move my big lumbering orc three spaces. And he will go one, two, three, right there. Okay. Okay. Are you sure about uh, that? I know that's a critical move this early in the game. It is critical. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like how tactfully I thought about that. Yes, I can't, uh, <laughs> can't wait to see what happens when we have some other pieces on the board. Um, all right, so I, I now get another action phase, but I don't have any amount of more to spend, so. Any I, amount of more any to spend. Any amount of more Is that Italian? Any amount of more to spend. <laughs> uh, uh, amount of more <laughs> so end of turn, you're done. I'm done. All right, cool. I go, so draw a card. Generate mana, so I have one generator, I get one mana, so now I can take my action. So obviously the first thing you want to do, and it's, I don't know how obvious it, is, obvious it is, but what you want to do is you want to get these mana generators out, because without mana you can basically do nothing in this game. So the Elorian Well is a common mana generator, just generates one mana, place it here, and I will put my mana one, two, I'll put it out here. So I'm going to extend my reach and that's going to cost me one mana costing the upper left hand side now i get to go if i had more mana i could play i could like summon more cards mm -hmm. i could do whatever i want as, as much as i want but i don't want to do that yet because i have no mana so i'm just going to move my no mana no mana one two three get my warlord out and about um i have a second second uh so, Phase, action summon phase two. Sorry, that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering suck attack. Suffering suck attack. Okay, end of turn, and I kick it back to you. This is very fast. Alright, so. So, draw a card. Yep. Oh. Generate mana. Alright, so I get two now. You do. That's great. And now you can plan your and move. And I will plan my moves. I'm gonna actually just put out this other mana generator spawning Ooh. pool. So it's exactly the same as my yes. other one. And you can actually stack those to save room. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Because so. it really doesn't matter, they're the same thing. I'm gonna spend one to bring that out. And that is it. And where are you gonna place it? Time. I'm gonna put it like kind of far away. Really? Because it either has to go within the three from your sigil. Or oh, I thought or I could place it from three within no. here, too. I can't? Nope. Oh, I can put it right around this guy? You can. Okay. Or next to your wood wood. Or within three over here, right? Yes, you can put it on that side. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. This is so critical. <laughs> <laughs> what do I over-process all of these I things? don't know. Where's my sand timer? Stop it. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> all right. Um, that's going to be it, I think. So okay. I'm going to move. There. Boom. Second and action not phase. going to take a second action. All right, so then your turn's over? Yep. My turn. Draw a card. Ooh, interesting. Uh, ooh, okay. This is, oh my goodness. All right, so I'm just gonna spawn, uh, generate my manas. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see, I think. Uh, I don't wish to, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna summon. I'm gonna summon in a Runier High Elf. It's gonna cost me two. Runier. Runier High Elf. <laughs> it's a fine vintage. And he will, so I'll get his miniature stand in and I can spawn him next to one of my mana generators or my sigil. It's gonna cost me all of my mana. 
And that's pretty much all I can do. So he has special ability tactics. So if they're within two, all their elf units you control within range of two gain two attack and two defense. So he's a very strong leader. Um, but I have no other elves out there for him. So I get to move. When a unit is summoned, on the turn they're summoned, unless they have a certain uh, keyword, they can't move or attack. So he's basically stuck for a round as he just... He's scolded. like getting prepared. He's preparing himself yeah. for combat. So I'm going to move my strongbow up. One, two, three. And now I go into the attack phase. And Sven's strongbow has a range of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're just in range. So Sven Strongbow is going to use an attack, and he's going to declare a ranged attack. Let's see how strong his bow is. So his attack is three, so I will roll three combat dice. Okay. In your defense. My defense is four. Your defense is four. So uh, he also has a keyword. When attacking a non-adjacent unit, mm -hmm. Sven Strongbow adds one damage to each attack. Okay. So I get to add one damage for each sword I roll. What? Are you sure about that? It says it right on the I'm card. I'm pretty sure it means per attack. Like, you're attacking me once with a value of however really? many. It's not like you're attacking me four times. All right. That's I mean, fair. I could be completely wrong. No, I think that you're seems right. Like that, very makes, that makes more fairness. Uh, that makes it more fair. That makes more fairness? More fairness, yes. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. All right, roll my attack. I've got one hit, two defense. Two shields. Two shields. So she blocks one of my hits. The other two are just defense. It's ranged, so she doesn't get to counterattack me. Yeah, I don't no think I can anyway, because I don't have a, a fist. No, you can. If I you can? were if you were melee, all oh, okay. all melee attacks can be retaliated. Oh, all right. So, but because I'm ranged, you don't get to unless you were ranged. I guess you wouldn't get to attack back. Yeah. Sorry, okay. not, not sorry. sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right. So that was my. That's an attack phase. So had I rolled more, so actually I rolled one hit, so it would have been two. Okay. But you rolled two yeah, defense two anyway, so it yeah. negated. Uh, so that's it for combat. I do have another action phase. I'm not going to do anything, so I'm going to end my turn right there. Okay. All right. Uh, interesting. Okay. All right, so I will draw a card. You generate three mana this turn. I do. Wow. Ooh. Okay, cool. I generate three mana. Um, this is cool. Okay, I'm going to play this card called, um, it's called a breeding pool. So this is a unique aura and it allows me to pay one less mana um, for the guys that I summon, so from now on. So that's gonna stay out there, and I pay three for that. The bleeding pool? It's a breeding pool, not a oh. bleeding pool. <laughs> so that's an it's like aura. the opposite of a bleeding pool. The mana cost for summon cards you play is it's reduced, reduced by one word, so wow. like, it gives me a discount. That's terrible. It's actually pretty good. All right. So, um, great. So I will. I will bring out this these guys. So they cost one, but they'll cost zero now. Goblin Grunt Squad. Wow. So those are little freaky guys, and they are going to come out. And I get to bring out all four of them. So yes. you'll see on the card they have like indicated on the bottom right. Um, the number of, I guess the number in the squad or whatever. The number of so, units you bring. Yeah, out. so that they're gonna, he's gonna bring right, out. So the Rainier High Elf that I spawned has one, so you only bring yeah. out one. So, so you have to keep that in mind when you're looking grunts. at your limit. And they, they're gonna, they have to spawn at the same place? No, they can spawn at any of your wells. Really? According to the rules, yes. They don't have to spawn uh, all together. Okay. They're gonna spawn here, and these guys are gonna spawn over here, I think. All right. Mm. Okay. Are you sure? Well, yeah, but your guy. The thing is, with your ranged people, I don't. I never know like how far they. Well, my Runier High Elf. He's is got a three, melee. right? No, he's melee. Oh, he's melee only. Yep. Okay. The right. 
Strongbow is the only ranged character. I'm trying to make I sure have. my guys are all taken care of, you know. Uh, okay. All right, that makes right. a huge difference in my strategy now. Um, what? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> all right, so those were my actions, and now I'm going to move. So I can't move any of my goblins, but that's okay. So they're just hanging out anyway. And I'll move Rulag. One. Well, um, I guess I'll move him like over here. One, two, three. Mm. Okay. He's kind of sitting on that crease right there. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to take another action, so. I'm done. You're done? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to start my turn. So I draw a card. And I generate mana. So I get two mana again. And I'm going to play Elven Archers. So for a cost of two mana, I get to spawn and summon two Elven Archers to the field. So I'm going to bring them in over here. There are actually one here and one here. So remember my Ruineer High Elf adds plus two attack and plus D two defense to each mm. adjacent or within two range elf and those two elves. So that's good. Um, movement phase. So I could move my High Elf but I'm not going to. But I can move Strongbow. So I'm going to move him one, two spaces back. Two, three, four, five. All right, so you're still within range. So he's done moving. He's going to take another shot at your your Rulag. Okay. So he gets three attack dice. He gets plus one attack. And he rolls three. All right, so you rolled one defense. Mm -hmm. Two damage go through, so you take two damage okay. to Rulag. So and I will indicate that with this die. For two damage. Yeah, just put two. it on two. Well, or I could put it on You can count up or down. I think we should count up. You want to count up? Yeah, that does, that'll okay. indicate how many, how much damage we've taken. Okay, that works. And you have a total health of six. Six. So okay. now it's my second action phase. I'm not going to do anything. My turn is over. Okay. Sure go. Okay. Draw a card. Whoa. And you get three more mana again, right? Okay. Yeah, I get three. You get four mana over there. This changes everything. I need to knock out Rulag, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm going to spend three mana, and I'm going to bring out the unstable pool. Ooh. It's a unique mana generator. Oh. Um, cool. So what this allows me to do is that um, horde units that spawn from my unstable pool have their squad value reduced by one, but they gain zeal, and zeal's a keyword. So in game, anybody who has zeal can spawn and move and attack where normally they wouldn't be able to move and attack on the turn that, they're, they, so blah, blah, that they are spawned. That's unique? This is a unique mana generator. Uh, you actually... I add one horde mana token to my You mana actually generator. represent it with that. Yes. Okay. So where are you going to spawn it? I don't know what to do with this. Okay. Um, this is big. This is really big. This has to spawn next to my guy though, right? Either next to him or next well, yeah, or within the, the area of control. Does this sigil thing also rep like does it work the same way as that no well this represents your this technically your sigil is this yeah it's just and it's sitting on a unique mana pool we'll so put this it is another one. unique it's another mana unique pool. It means it's only one of a kind one of a kind okay so that what happens is i know which one i need to destroy uh-huh to kill the unstable pool right right that all right so sense. mana pools just for they have a health of like seven though, seven, right? Seven, yeah. yes, and they have no defense. No def. Well, they have, a, yeah, they have their health. Okay. They just have health, no defensive rolls, uh, and they regenerate one health per round, per turn if you don't destroy it. So you want to pretty much kill it. Okay. So I'm you can bring down mana wells in this game. This is tough. Really? Um. Yeah, I didn't know that's how that worked. Um. All right, I need to do something. 
<laughs> yeah, can you I need play to play this. Oh you... no, I can't play it during the second phase. No, this is it. <sighs> I don't want to put him right there though. Why? You're gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill it anyway. Well, that's what you think. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna. I, I can't really put it on the border though, can I? Or yeah, can I? Of course you can. Is that all right? Yeah, it's not with as long as it's with, not within the three oh, okay. of my control zone. All right. And it's not next to another mana pool. All right. I didn't know if it could be in the dirt. No, oh, it's in the dirt. <laughs> it's gonna be in the dirt like this it's guy. Be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. So now I can move. Correct. You can if you want to. Uh, yeah. I'll move some stuff. I think I'll move this guy. Three. Wow, you really want to come in here and get shot down. That's good. Well, I was already in your range anyway. All right. You know what I mean? That's fair. It's like me or the pool, so. Um, okay. So that's it. I'm not going to take any more actions. You're not? Your turn's over? Well, yes. My turn's over. Are you sure now? <laughs> I'm positive. All right, so I'm going to draw a card. Oh. And I'm going to generate two mana. I have the worst. Hey, mana. The worst what? I said, hey, mana. Hey, mana. All right, so that's it for my my generation. So I'm going to take my actions. Um, Your manic generation. And I'm not going to do any actions. I'm going to go right into the movement phase. Mm, you want to battle so bad. I do. So I'm going to get him out of here. One, two, three, four just in range of him. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna bring him back. I'm gonna move, so my I can move all my guys now. So my archers have a movement of four and my high elf has a movement of three. So I can move him one, two. <laughs> Why are you making him look at me? <laughs> one, two, and they have a range of five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, that's good. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So they're all in range and they are in his range. Mm -hmm. So he gives them plus two attack. Why are you trying to kill my guy? Each. So they're going to get plus two attack. You tricked uh, me. Attack. You made me think you were going to get out, go after my pool. All other elf units you control within range gain two attack and two defense. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get two dice for each elven archer. I mm -hmm. get three. Can I have another white dice, please? Yep. Three for Sven. Mm-hmm. And I get plus one attack. No, see, when he attacks, he gets plus one damage. So that's automatic right. if he hits, right? Yeah. So I'm going to roll his dice separately, okay? Right. And I'm going to roll each of theirs because what they do is they get plus two attack each for being within range of right. the high elf, right? Yeah. So I'm going to get four attack dice for each of them. Right. You follow what I'm saying? Ye like they're four attack dice? Well, yeah, because they get all other elf units you control within range of two of him get two attack and two defense. Yeah, but they just get two defense well, if you're rolling defense. Gain two attack. Yes, but yeah. gain two attack on attack and gain two defense. Right. So you're not going to worry about the defense. You're gaining two attack. Right. That's but I still all. need to roll the dice because the defense right. only matters if I roll shields. Oh, I see. You're going to roll four dice. I'm going to roll one. four yeah. for each, gotcha. right? So I'll roll him first. Okay. He gets plus one. Mm -hmm. So he gets three, three damage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to roll the second guy. He gets two damage. Okay. And I'm going to roll the third guy. I just need two more dice, oh. please. And he gets one damage. Okay. So then you need to roll gotcha. four defense dice. And this, this is the total hits here. All right. Plus one. So what are his hits? What one, two, three, five. four, five, six, because he gets plus one damage. Oh. That couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> <laughs> so you had four hit points left. All I just six. started screaming and violently tossing my he arms around. He was flailing, but yeah. there's no one in range, <laughs> so he dies. But I think, but that's how. That's how it works. Right. Yeah. If the card says plus attack, you add attack dice. Yeah. If it says plus damage, you add damage to a hit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he's dead. That sucks. Yes. So he goes out of the game for good. And this goes off the board. And I flip over Rulog. Um, all that happens now is at the end of my turn, my sigil loses one life forever. So. Right. And his command capacity. And his command capacity goes down to six. Down to From six. ten. So. Correct. That's still okay. All right. Are you your turn over? Or well, you can take more I actions? get another action phase. 
But you're not going to take actions. But I'm not going to take any actions. Okay. And I'm going to pass it to you. All right. So, here we go. And you generate four menace. I do. You are correct. All right. So, now that my Rulog has been killed violently, um... Oh uh, man! Yeah. That's all right. Oh mana. Oh mana. <laughs> did you have an interrupt card, by the way? I'm surprised I, you did. I didn't. Uh, that would have stopped because that would have no. been your opportunity to play an interrupt. Yeah, I didn't, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to. What's this high elf, what is his range? The high These elf. These elf, elf and archers, how did you, I'm trying to figure archers out how you Archers have a range of five. Five. Okay, I see. He was in range. I know, I'm just trying to think of um, what I want to do. All right. Okay, I'm going to bring out this. Thing. Do I want to do that? What's our mana capacity on our card? Ten. Is it ten? Yep. You want to keep saving mana, huh? I just, I love mana. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play this Aura card, I think. Okay. This, do I want to do this? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this right now. <laughs> oh, I'm so conflicted. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with this then. Um, <laughs> All right, I am going to I'm going to bring out this guy. He's called Moss Ograce. Is that Latin? <laughs> it's a Moss Ogre. Um he's a heroic summon ogre and he's going to replace my Rulog in a way cuz he's also very large and slow moving. Um he only moves two at a time, but he has an attack of 7. Wow. Defensive 3. Um but just so you know cuz this will be important for you. When um, my Moss Ogre is attacked by non-adjacent units, I add two shields to defense until the end of the turn. Oh, so he's strong yeah, he's against super the range. Strong. Yeah. It's actually very wise. He's very wise. And he's going <clears> to <throat> come out like over here, probably. Ogre here? Uh, he's going to come out <laughs> over here. <laughs> um, uh, he'll come out right here. Uh. And you're bringing the big dogs out. All right. Uh, he'll come out right here. Now, he spawns with zeal. He does. Right? No. I thought anything that spawns out of that mana pool spawns with zeal. Um, no, that is for horde units. So, like, all my goblins and stuff, their squad value is reduced by one, and they gain zeal. You know you get two of them, right? I get two monsters. Oh, what? <laughs> Seriously? It oh, says yeah. two on the card. And actually, you might be right. All horde units He's that a spawn horde unit. from the unstable pool have their squad value reduced by one. So what that means is I don't bring out two of no. them. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I bring out one, but he gets to Immediately move. move. But right away. if you want to spawn him at another pool instead, you can bring out the full two. Uh, I might do that. I would do that. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that he's a little slow, but I could bring him out here. Right. You know what I mean? And I could bring the other one out, like, here. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be good if, if I was already on top of that pool. Yeah. And you brought him out in the middle right. of my guys and just started beating and him. And I think that's why they allow you to do that, because it's like, all right, I'll sacrifice bringing out the whole unit. You know what I mean? But he'll come out. But ready. he'll come out ready to fight. So which um, is cool. Yeah. I'd rather bring out two of them because they're going to be tough with my range guys. I, yeah, exactly. That's why I brought them out. So. Um, oh, all right. Cool. Did cool. you pay six mana for that? 
Uh, I'm actually going to pay five mana oh, okay. because I have a unique aura that allows me to get a discount. And you'll have like discounts. I know. It's like my coupon aura. A discount double check. <laughs> 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 my coupon. Your coupon. All right. And I get to move. So <clears throat> I'm not. Uh, how far? These guys can move five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm not like really into moving them right now. Really? I'm surprised. Don't get. Don't start with that. I'm just saying. Mind trickery. You're, just, you're gonna I'm turtle up back there. I'm not turtling anything. I don't take any direction from you because you just misdirect me <laughs> and then you come out and kill all my people. Who's misdirect? <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Go ahead. It is. I'm done. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at my cap of seven cards. Mm. I'm gonna generate two more mana because I only have two wells. Well. Well, um, but I am gonna bring... The action. Ooh. This is a good unit. This is a good unit. Uh, oh, these guys are pretty good too. I don't know. I think I'm gonna bring in a unit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna summon the Lucatan remnants. <laughs> the Yucatan Peninsula. The Yucatan Pen Peninsula. So these are humans. Uh, they gain one combat dice when attacking or defending against horde units, mm -hmm. which is good. Uh, when Lucatan remnant comes into play, I draw a card. So he's gonna cost me three of my manas, and I get two of them. Right now, I oh crud! I can't bring them in. Why? No, I can. I can. I can just bring them in. Because mm. I'm at my cap of five. Right. No. You can bring in one of them. Why? Because you have four people on the board. Right, but one's my... Oh, that guy doesn't warlord. count? No, because he's... Okay. I wouldn't think he counts, right? Because he's the well, one who has the command know. value of five. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to bring these two guys out, Lucatans. And I'm at my cap. And what do they do again? Uh, they get plus they one attack one and plus one, one combat defense. Dice. Okay. Yeah, against Horde, which is all you. Which is me, yeah. Yep. So that's that. Now I'm going to, I draw a card automatically. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. And I get to move, so I think it's time. So these guys are, are not moving anywhere. So I'm going to bring in, bring up one, two, three. Two. I'll move him up. Two. I'll move him up. One, two, three. Three. All right. These two are going to fire. I'm going to bring him out. One, two, three, four. There. Okay. Now, are your Lucatan remnant? They're not elf. Nope. They're not they're elf. They're human, though. so they okay. don't get any bonuses. So my archers. Well, first I'm going to fire at your well with Sven. Okay. He gets an attack of three. Mm -hmm. He does two damage. Okay. And I get to roll seven, right? No, no, you don't get to roll anything. Why? Wells don't defend. Mm -hmm. He gets seven hit points, so I, he just takes two damage right now. When that okay. gets up to seven, it's dead. Well, we should be counting down then. Because... No, 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 because there's no seven. Oh, so just, okay. we'll count up. When it gets to six, one more hit, okay. it's dead. Okay. You know what I mean? Like seven yeah. is fine. Um, my elven archers are going to get... They get two attack, but they're going to get three dice each because of the high elf, and they're going to shoot at the moss ogre. Why do they get three dice? Because they normally get two attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they get, get four more. dice each. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mm. I'm not trying to kill myself. Sorry, but. can I have two more dice? Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll I'm all to be these. Consistent here. Yeah, I, I got you. All right, so I'm going to shoot at. Who are you trying to kill? Oh, you know what? I'm going to shoot one guy. This guy is going to shoot at that moss ogre. Okay. He rolls one damage. Okay. And so my moss ogre has a defense of three plus two. So you roll five dice. Five defense, and I've got one hit. All really? Right, so, so they take one damage. Really? All right. Uh, so let's just mark them up there. Well, right? yeah, I guess. I guess I'll just put one in the corner. Does that make sense? Because I have two of them. Right. So I guess I mean, mark one, the left one, and then the other one on the right. Since yeah. he's on the right. I just hope they don't cross paths. Yeah, you could also put the dice on the guy. 
But then they have to move around with him. Yeah. It's a logistic fun. nightmare. <laughs> okay. This guy is going to shoot him. Okay. He rolls three hits. All right, so he's dead. He has no defense? No. Okay, so I just have to get a hit. Okay. All right, so he's gone. Um, that was my move and action. I could take another action if I so choose. And I do not choose. So I will end my turn. I have seven cards left. And you get to draw. Um, I have a question. Yes. My Moss Ogre mm -hmm. adds two shields to defensive combat, not two dice. Oh, automatic. Yeah, so oh. I think he actually does not take a hit. You're right. So, that makes boo a big hoo difference. on you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Did you draw a card? He can't roll with those big ogre hands. I guess not. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna draw a card. A card. 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 And Whoa. you get one, two, three, four mana. Hopefully I can take care of that soon enough. Um, and I get four mana, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. Perfect. This is just great. Four in mana. Okay. All right, so let me think about this for a sec. Go big or go home. All right, let's see what you got. All right, so I'm going to play this thing called Powder Keg. Ooh. Deal two critical damage to target summoned unit and two damage to all adjacent units. Who's Jason unit? Who's Jason units? Uh, all right, so... Why, do you have one of those cards? Potentially. <laughs> Well, are you going to play it or not? Oh, you have to decide. Uh, well, you play your card, and then I play my interrupt. So you have to tell me who you're damaging. Oh, you have one of those? Mm-hmm. How many cards do you have? I have seven cards. You have like a whole deck. Seven. Mm -hmm. Sven. Seven strong bows. Okay. <laughs> so who are you attacking? Well, now I don't know. Well... I didn't have to tell you I had an interrupt. Okay. So I have to pay four to use that even if it Correct. doesn't kill you? Doesn't matter. Well, that's dumb. My Ubers are smart. They would be doing better intel than this. I hope so. Um, okay, well, logically, mm -hmm. I'm going to critically attack your Runia High Elf. For two damage? Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt and pay my one remaining mana. Mm hmm and play Warrior's Duty. Okay. So I sacrifice a summon unit or warlord to prevent all damage to a target unit until the end of the turn. Okay. So who are you sacrificing? I'm going to sacrifice... Your Runier High Elf? This guy. And I'm protecting well, him. it says sacrifice a summon unit to prevent all damage to target you. Oh, to target unit. Sacrifice him to prevent him. Okay. So that's uh, his duty. He takes two, he dies. He takes two, he dies. I see. That's okay. how it works. That works. I just basically kept you him You just alive. kept him. Okay. But now he's just, he doesn't so have any more elves. He doesn't. Okay. Unfortunately. So All this right. So is this goes out now. Discarded. That was That's just discarded. A thing. My elven archers are now discarded. Okay. So they're out. All right. So you actually thinned my ranks. I did. That was my intent. Really big with your Let's powder keg. Cool powder move. the keg. You were so excited to play that. I was so excited. See, my interrupt didn't save me. Yeah, it didn't. We haven't actually, I don't think we encountered any of any interrupts last game we played. Nope. Um, all right, so still my turn. Mm. I have no mana left. I guess I should move some of these mossy ogres. What does your Runier High Elf do on its own? It's just, just melee. a melee He's guy. Just melee. And so attack. is Lucatan. And the Lucatan, yeah. All right, well, he's going to go here. One, two. And this guy's gonna go one, two. Mm -hmm. And these guys. They're just kind of like holding down the fort over here. I basically just brought them out because they were free. <laughs> <laughs> you should then throw them into the teeth. Well, no, they're not quite ready to fight yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, I guess that's all I can do. So I'm done. You're done, okay. Yeah, you're done. So then I, uh, you get one health back on your mana pool. Why? Because every turn, at the end of your turn, it regenerates. Oh, it does? Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Wait, so are we counting up or down? We're counting up. So he gets it back to one hit point. We're going... This, it counts as damage. No, we, we're counting down. We're counting, counting down. up. Yes. Because you hit it for one. See how confusing that is? No, one. I hit it for two, and it had two damage on it, and now it's got one left because it healed. Right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. We're, yeah, so I'm moving it down, not to three, to one. Correct. Okay. That way, when it's fully healed, you take the dice away. Right. Right? So that gotcha. otherwise, we'd have dice on everybody right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing, though, is reducing this. Oh, so that's been two turns, at least. Yeah. So we'll take that down to 18. We'll take it down to 17. That's been at least that six fair? turns. 17, I think. Seven turns? There. <laughs> three turns, and that's fair. Fair enough. Two, three, four, five, six. Draw, two mana. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so oh, this is horrible. Oh, I have two mana. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness. I don't like this at all. <laughs> what? Your sigil's doing very well. My sigil's just fine, thank you very much, but it's just a matter of... <sighs> Alright, I'm going to hold off here, and I'm just going to move. So I'm going to move him up. One, two... Three, and I'm going to go... One, two... Three. Okay, so you're fighting my ogre I'm now. Fight the ogre. Okay. So he has a combat of three. My my ogre? No, my guy, my elf. Oh yeah, he There's has a melee, a of, three. melee of three. And your ogre has a defense of three, right? Uh, yes. Plus. Nope. Two. Oh, he's adjacent. Correct. Okay. He's Jason. He's Jason. All right. So Jason. I get three versus your three. Okay. So this is straight on combat. Okay. Now remember, retaliatory attacks count now for you oh, okay. as a defender. All right. I rolled one hit, one defense. Two defense, one and hit. one so hit. My one hit gets blocked by one of your defense. Mm -hmm. Your retaliation now, because I didn't kill you, mm -hmm. is one hit back, and I block that. So they just All stalemated. Right. Cool. Which is terrible. Yeah. Um, Sven Strongbow is going to take another shot at your mana well. Okay. Well. Well. <laughs> so he has one damage. Man at my man well. So he does three damage. Three? Why? Because he does two hits plus one damage to non-adjacent units. Oh, and my mana pool is a unit? I, I don't know. Would it count as a unit? Maybe not. Only mm. do two damage to it. Okay. Let's double check that. I don't want you to be losing No, points. I think that's fair. It, it wouldn't say unit. It would say anything. It's not really a unit, so. All right. I think it might be a unit. Lucatan? I don't think so. Okay. I'm not going to go with that. Um, I am not going to... Hmm, I could do this. What? What? What, what? All right, I think that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna do. End my turn. So mm. you get draw a card. Okay. And generate four mana. Generate four mana. All right. Before I do that, this should be three. Correct. I thought you meant three pips, not three hits. Three hits. Okay. All right. It's time. It's time. I'm going to make another mana spawning pool. Jeez. Okay. It's raining mana. It is raining mana. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I read this, and it says, during your mana generation phase, add one horde mana, and I thought it said... Please add one. I was like, that's yep. such a polite game. All right. <laughs> so, um, and I can, I have to place this within my sigil, right? Mm -hmm. Or next to one of, well, I can place nope. next to one of my guys, right? No, only Why? your warlord. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But I can place it within three? Yep. All right. One, two, three. I'll just put it up here, I guess. Because units can spawn within three of these, right? Nope. Next just within it. next to it okay that works then that works out great for me and then do i combat this guy because i That's am next to, to him if you want to really 
Are you uh, done playing cards? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to pay one for that. You do. Yeah, I'm done. So now you can um, move and then attack. So move first and then declare attackers. I'm going to move one, two, and... How far can Lucatan go? He's three. melee only. He He's three. three. Yeah. I oh, not not move like attack. He can attack is two. Okay. But he gets plus one combat dice when attacking or defending horde, so he gets three actually. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move them up too. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna attack this Runier high elf guy. Okay, so I have a three defense. Okay. And what do you have? Um, I have seven. Okay. Okay. You have all seven? Yeah. All right. I rolled three hits. Three hits. Okay, so I... What, do I, what are you hitting? My... All right, so then it's two health, so he's dead. Okay. So you killed my Runier High Elf. Goodbye, High Elf. All right. Wow, that was bad. And because right. I didn't survive it, I don't get to put those three back on you. Oh, uh, well, obviously. <laughs> he, like, goes out swinging. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so that's feeble. it, and I'm not playing any more actions. Okay, so, so your, your mana roll generates done. one more health. What? Your oh, yeah, I got to turn this down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Where's the 16 on this? Why aren't they all in the same spot? All right. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> all right. And this goes down to two. Draw my card, generate two mana. Oh, yes. Did you bring out your... Is your poison lady out here? Yes, You've exactly. been waiting all game for this. This is so cheap. The 11 You're botanist. like, I'll just keep surviving for a while until 11 I get my botanist. 11 botanists I'm going to summon. Okay. 11 botanists. <laughs> yes. And she's going to come out back here. All right. And she can't move this turn, but her wonderful ability is... Who is she targeting? She can't, she can't do anything yet. She just spawned. Oh, okay. But on her turn, I can pay... As a combat action, instead of fighting, I can pay one mana... And she adds poison to a target unit within a range of four. Oh, so she, they do have to be in range, though. They have yeah. to be within four. Okay. And But she poisons you, and you take one damage every round. Yeah, you love that Unblockable. so much. Unblockable. One damage or one critical no, damage? one critical damage. Okay. So they take a hit. Automatic, which is wonderful. One, two, uh, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna have to go out and fight this guy. So my Lucatan okay. remnant is gonna charge in to the ogre, and my Sven is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. He gets six movements. Okay. I know he doesn't get four. Three, four. <laughs> what? What is happening right now? All right. I thought he had six movements, but he had four. Uh, okay. All right. So, um, all right. I'll start <laughs> with the Lucatan. Lucatan gets two plus one of combat dice because he's fighting horde. Okay. So he gets three, and he All hits right. for one. For one? Yep. And All right, and I get three. three. One attack. All right, so, so you hit him for one. I hit him for one. But he strikes back. He struck me for one, so we each took a damage. All right. Can't we just call it even? No. No. So he took one damage? Yep. I'm just going to put a one. All right. And I will shoot with Sven at your well. And he does two hits, so it takes okay. two damage. And we're going up or down? Oh, Three, four. He's at four. All right. yeah, almost there. I just want to get rid of that stinking wall already. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Uh, all right, I'm done. Your turn. You can draw and gain your manas. All my mana. All right, I'm going to draw. And gain one, two, three, four, five mana. Okay. Five yep. mana. Do you know what you're doing this round? Nope. Good. All right. What would you consider a passive ability? That's just always on. Oh, You don't okay. have to pay to activate it. All right, I am going to pay five mana. Five. 
five, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna bring out Ferdinand's. I mean, <laughs> spell cards legacy. Why did I think it said Ferdinand? Uh, is that a character? It's a heroic aura, aura, actually. Jeez. So, target summon card or warlord loses all activated passive or combat abilities. Wow. Um, and you can sacrifice two mana generators to destroy this. Wow. If you'd like to get rid of mana generators. Okay, who are you going to put that on? Your Moss Ogre? Well, what? Your Moss Ogre? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's funny because I was going to put it on your Warlord. Uh huh. But I think I'm going to put it on your Elven Botanist. Really? Yes. Okay. Because that would make her unable to poison anybody. Yeah, pretty much. She can't do anything. Yeah. Target summon card world well, loses all activated passive and combat abilities. Any player miss that Wow. So she has Felgar's legacy upon her. Mm-hmm. So she basically can't do anything. Well, she can move. Yeah, that's... She well. can fight. No, she loses all combat abilities. Oh, wow. Well, that's unfortunate, <laughs> I guess. She's just sad now. She's a sad poisoner. Strike fear into their hearts and we will kill them from the inside out. That's evil yeah. sounding. All right, so that was your action. Are you going to take another action? Are you going to move? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take another action. I am going to pull, put this Oryx Bane mm-hmm. for two mana. Target Warlord or Summon Card's defense is reduced by two. And I'm going to put that on your Warlord. Seven. Seven Strongbow. Seven Strongbow. <laughs> All right, so his defense is reduced by two. So, so he has a defense of one. One defense. Okay. And now I'm going to move my people. Um, I'm going to go one, two, and... One, two. Okay. And is that all you moving? Well, I don't know because I have these goblins. They're kind of just taking up space. They're really taking up a lot of space. I'm just gonna like move him out here. Three, four, five. Mm. I'm happy with where stuff is right now. I think I'm good. Okay. I think. Yeah. I'm pretty good. Okay. And I'm not going to take any more actions. You're not. Oh, but I have to fight. Fight. I'm going to fight that guy. The Lucatan Remnant. Okay. So, let's do it. So you get your defense, you have your defense dice? Of three, yes. All right. Two defense, one damage. Four damage. All right, so you kill him. They are gone. Ugh. Uh, you do anything with the ogres? I guess you can't. I can't. Yeah, they're not really next to anybody. So. That's cool. You done? They could like throw. They should be able to throw stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like big rocks or yes. something. It would make sense. Yeah, I'm done. So, All right, so I'm, I'm gonna draw a card. A, you're like slowly killing my sigil passively. All so, right. Yeah. But then this like goes that. down, right? That goes down. It's a three. So I draw two. And I'm going to summon for three mana, all my manas. I'm going to summon the Elven Skyrider. Hmm. Now this has a flying keyword. What is that? Oh, right. So they can't be attacked and they're not considered adjacent. They can't be attacked by anything non-ranged because they're flying. So your Mm -hmm. ogres can't reach them. The only time you can ever hit me is during my attack. 
because then I become adjacent. Oh, that's how that works? Because I have a flying guy too, but he doesn't have that. It doesn't say that. Does it say flying? It says flying. That's all you need. Oh, that's all you that need keyword to know? Is, The keyword oh, flying means... I didn't know that. Yeah, you've never okay. played the flying unit before. Well, I played one flying guy, but I don't think I did anything with him. No, you just sat him there. Yeah. Yeah, with the bombs. He was the bomber. <laughs> he was the bomber. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So, like, basically... But, but something ranged could anything shoot Anything ranged it. can shoot him. Right. It's so, just non-ranged. Um, and if I attack your ogre, for example... Right, I can strike back. You can retaliate, mm -hmm. but on the next turn you can't fight him. Gotcha. As the attacker. Right, right. right. Only during my attack phase. Okay. Um, just kind of like he goes in, they yeah, hit, yeah, yeah. and then he flies away. Sense. So that was my summon. Uh, now I can move. <sighs> my botanist is just silly. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay. My goblin grunt. I don't know why I should not shoot them. <laughs> the longer I waste. leave them out there, the more they take up your uh, capacity, right? Because mm -hmm. I leave them there, that's all that. They, they, you can't summon anything stronger. Right. I do have to do something about your... Well, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to fight him. Okay. He gets three plus one damage. He's a goner. What? <laughs> one. Uh, adds one damage to each attack. Okay, so, so he's still dead. Still, he still goes through. So yeah. no matter what, I guess it's almost impossible not to kill one of that's them. That's pretty funny. All right, so that's all my attacks. I've got no more mana, so my turn's over. Okay. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. All right. All right. Your mana, I give you five again, right? Yes, one, two, three, four, five. I'd love to draw a mana well at some point today. Well, you need to get some mana wells out. I do. Some mana wells. Alright. Okay. I am going to do the following. <sighs> okay, first, I'm going to spend five. One, two, three, four, five mana on this brute force aura aura mm. so all my units without range ability add one to attack mm. so put that over here and then i'm gonna bring oh i can't oh you don't have a mana. oh yeah i do right you here i thought i had two oh, all, right. all right and then i'm gonna spend two and i'm gonna summon my goblin kite rider it costs Oh, because of the discount. Because I have a discount from yeah. my coupon. Um, and he has, he comes out with zeal, I think, doesn't he? No. Oh, he doesn't? Only if you spawn him up there, but he would reduce it, so no, you can't. Oh. I thought he had zeal. No. Oh. No zeal. Oh, well. But well he gets I'll still bring him out. Yeah, I'll still bring him out, I guess. Do All I right. do that? I don't really know if I want to bring him out, actually. Okay, take, take that back. back. Take that back. I thought he could. Well. Also remember, I do have ranged. What? I do have ranged. Like you can kill him I can shoot easily. Him down. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that because that takes up. I don't have that much space to bring new people out anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna not do that. All right. That was a lie. Are you going to move? I am going to move. I'm gonna go. One, two, and I'm gonna go <clears throat> one, two, all right, yeah, okay, there's where I moved. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fight the elfin botanist, okay, so. Uh, nice. Three. Three damage. Her defense is two. So she takes two damage, and she's got three health. Oh, and I add one to attack. So you get to roll one more. One more. If it's a hit, you kill her. And no! Why do I always roll shields when I need hits? So she 
is down to one health. So she has two damage. Boom. All right. Okay. Uh, and I guess that's it for me. You're done? Oh, yeah. I think okay. so. So I'm going to draw a card and get two mana. Oh, I should have brought my goblin in, too. Oh. I, didn't, I forgot to move my goblins. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pay one mana. Mm-hmm. And summon another well. Mm. Yay. Yay. I'm going to put it down here. Boom. Oh, I forgot to do One, this. Two, too. three, four, and five, this. six, seven cards. All right. Um, all right. He's going to move. One, two, three, four. And he's going to shoot your sigil. Mm. So he's got a three attack. You have one die, please. Mm -hmm. You get to roll one defense die when you when defending a sigil. Okay. Get one defense die per attacker. One damage. One shield. Oh, all right. So you blocked it. <laughs> awesome. Well played. Thanks. Uh, I forgot to move my Sky Raiders, so mm. I'm actually going to I'm going to come in and hit your your Moss guy. Mm. So he's got a attack of three. Mm-hmm. And you have a defense of three. Three with your ogre. All right. Two hits. One defense. So one damage goes through. I block one of yours, and I take a damage. So we each take a damage. Okay. That's not good. See, now this is what I mean, though. Hmm. Is that this one? Yes. Okay, so he takes one. Mm -hmm. Oops. All right. All right. I'm not going to take any more actions. It's your turn. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and your mana. And you get mana. another five. Dang. It's too much mana. I know. Well, you know, if you can't draw any more mana, you like, don't have any more. Like, yeah, that's you, all you have. cap out. All right. Before you jump, let's make a correction. Okay. So we've confirmed that sigils, Our wells, units. everything on the board's a unit. Mm -hmm. So I was technically doing a lot more damage to this thing, but we're not going to go back and fix that. However, I did have one damage go through here because I did get one plus, plus one damage on non-adjacent. Yeah. So. That's good. Yep. Okay. All right. I am going to pay two mana mm -hmm. and bring out the Orc Associates. Oh, they're associates. Sounds like, it sounds like a law firm yeah. or something. Like, we'll take care of your business. Um, they look fierce too, right? Yeah, they yeah. are. Um, and when they attack a mana generator or a sigil, add one damage to attack. Ooh, that's nasty. So I kind of need that guy right You're running now. out of room over there. I am. Yeah, I'll just put him on top of Rulog's thing. Yeah, like, we know Rulog's he died. He's been so. dead for ages. Hey, now. his body's like over yeah. here. <laughs> it's like bones by now. Yeah. Like just armor. So, wow, you get two work associates. Yeah, you get two of those guys. So, well, yeah, they're partners. They are. At the firm. Uh, you can't put them there. Why? Because they would lose one of your work associates and get immediate movement. Oh, that's how that works? Yeah, that's the unstable pool. Oh, so it has to spawn near my sigil? It can spawn at any of these other pools. Oh, to bring out both of them? Yes. Okay, I'll just I bring mean. them out here. Okay, yep. got you. You could bring him there, but they would just only one. It would come only out, one, and he would get to move right away. Dumb. Which would be a waste. This is really only if you absolutely need it right now. Yes, you know I mean? it's really the only time. You so, would do that. what did okay. you pay for them? I paid two. You paid two. Yeah. Okay. And are you going to take more actions? Um. Well, I can't bring anybody else out. I don't think. Right. Nope. One, two, one, two, three, three four, five. Six. Oh well, because you killed one of my guys, right? You have six out one, right two, now. One, two, three, five, six. Oh yeah. So okay. So I can't right. bring anybody else out. Um. Mm. Okay, so I guess I'm not doing anything else. I will move. Okay. So, those guys are stuck. This guy will move this time. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's crazy. I know, because he's a goblin grunt. And this guy's gonna go one, two, 
like slowly trudging <laughs> across the land. Taking their sweet time. Yeah. Um, so that's that. All right. So are you going to attack? Um, are you going to move these guys? Kind of well, I don't know. They're like Yeah, they have not sitting there forever. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, I kind of want in there. Okay. Um... Well, your elephant sky rider is like in the sky. I can't. There's like no way for me to kill that thing unless I bring out my flying, yeah, ma like monster person. Yeah, you don't have anybody with. All range. right. Well, let's just go into attack things. I don't. I can't bring anybody else out. And okay. I can't move anybody. So. Who are you attacking? Um, I'm gonna attack your your elephant botanist with both with the moss ogre and the goblin grunt. All right. So roll all your. So attacks. all right. So here's the thing. They don't have range, so I add one to each of their attacks. When so, they attack a sigil? Well, no, this is my oh, all units. my hero aura. Oh, all right. So, so they, get one, they get one attack. So I get three and seven, and one is eight, so 11. So I get 11 dice. So roll all the dice. All the dice. <laughs> Six, That's 10. You know, 10 plus one. Like they're too big for me to roll in my hands. <laughs> all right. All right, so there's bunch. That's six. And then I get one more. Right? Yep. Blank. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six damage. And I have two defense, so I can't block no matter what I roll. Okay. So I'm going to die. This goes in your discard, so Felgar's legacy is now okay. gone. You killed my elven botanist. And you were successful. Okay. So okay. was that it? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So I will take my turn. Well, let me clean up here. Okay. 12. And, and that one. goes to one. All right, so I draw a card. Ooh, one, two, three. I get three mana this time, which is huge. Huge. It's, it's huge. huge. <laughs> huge mana. All right, so, ooh, these are good. Oh, these guys are really good. I feel like you have a whole deck of cards in your hand. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Well, oh, my Berserkers. Those are the ones that so come in I'm with going zeal. to, for four mana, uh -huh. I'm going to cast a spell. Ooh, what kind of it's spell? It's called the Volley of Arrows. Oh, stop. Target Volley a space on the board. Okay. Right here. Okay. Deal three damage to any unit and adjacent to that space. <gasps> Really? So, three damage. Uh huh. Three damage. You killed them both? Three damage. That was. Do you have an interrupt? You No, I don't have interrupts. Okay, so these guys are both dead. <gasps> that was horrible. Well, I, I don't like the way this is going right now. Well, I should have moved. I couldn't move them. I just brought those guys out. Oh. I needed those. That was a volley of arrows. That was weak. Well, at least now I have more space to bring out <laughs> even worse stuff I that now so. you can't kill. All right, Your so. The volley of arrows is done. I'm going to leave my Elven Skyrider here, and he's going to swoop down and attack your moss ogre. I thought that was a girl. Again, or she. I don't know. Yes, yeah. she is going to swoop down and attack your moss ogre again. So, she gets three combat dice, please. Okay. How much defense do you get to roll? Uh, three, I think. All right. Two hits, one defense. Two hits, no defense. Uh, all right, so my two hits hit you first. Okay. And do they kill you? Two damage. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I think he's got three. Your retaliatory strike does not okay. go into play. So she survives that. Okay. Now my Sven is going to shoot the sigil. Okay. And he does two damage. Okay. And, but and you I can get to roll, roll one. Defense. one. All right, so two go through. My sigil will hit you back. <laughs> down to ten. <laughs> okay. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, so we're good. Okay. Your turn. All right. Uh, you're like almost at mana capacity right now. You, I am. Yeah, I'm mana, I am five. at mana capacity. So you are at ten mana. Mana capacity. I got to spend some mana here. I think so. All right, your turn. All right. I don't have like, I need like some more of my little, these guys to come out. Like my little expendable guys. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? All right, so. Okay. I'm going to do a couple of things here. First, I'm going to pay four mana and bring out the cave trolls. Oh no. Don't feed the trolls. Is what it says. <laughs> that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> so I need more like more folks on the board here. Um, and I am going to where are they? Those are two giant ones in the back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. And I'm gonna put one. Anything that spawns out of that thing, you only get one. Right? Yes. I don't like that. And he's immediately active, though. Yeah, he's immediately active. I'm going to put one here and one here, hmm. I think. Why don't you put them together? Or one here. You should probably put them next to uh, each other. And definitely not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. All right, and let's see. What else am I gonna do here? What other tricks do I have on my sleeve? I don't know. I can't do that, I can't do that. Did I, I did draw a card, ugh. And then I'm going to bring out, can I put the same aura on the same guy or does it have to go on a different guy? What's that? Like if I have a common aura that targets somebody, can I have the same thing on the same guy? I mean, he can, he'll just reduce his defense to zero. Yeah. Which is already at one, right? Yeah. So. Don't so so you get an extra defense or no? No. No? All right, then I'll put this on your Elf and Sky Rider. Ooh. What? That's rude. <laughs> Two. Okay. Um, all right, I think that's all I can really play right now anyway. Oh, I have one, two, three, four. I have five people on the board right now. Mm -hmm. So if I bring out one unit, I can't spawn him here, is that what you're saying? Correct. Squad value cannot be reduced to zero. Does that mean it just doesn't get reduced to zero, or I can still bring out one? This is it cannot be reduced to zero. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'll... I guess you could bring out one there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, maybe he doesn't... Come out with zeal, or maybe he does. Right. He comes out know. with no. He comes out with zeal. He just you can't reduce it to zero. Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe we should check that out. Yeah, I'm not sure that's in here though. I'll be honest okay. With you, so. Well, do you want to allow me to do that? Yeah, I'll let you have okay. it. Okay. Then I'm gonna bring out my goblin kite rider for real this time. I'll just put him on top of these guys, I guess maybe. Um, he costs three, but he's only going to cost me two. And where's this thing? Here we go. Um, so he's a, he is also flying. Okay. And he comes into play with one counter on him. So I don't know Just if use, we want to like uh, use He's a poison token. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then if I remove the counter, deal one critical damage to a target adjacent unit and all our adjacent units. Yeah, so he has one bomb. Yeah, but most importantly, he's going to come out here and I can move him this time. Yes. Okay. So, um, now I'm going to move, right? Yep. And these guys can't move because I just brought them out. Um, I'm going to move this guy. One, two, three. I'm not here. Mm -hmm. You move four. I can move them like here. Like that. Mm -hmm. Right? What's her range? Her range is four. I'm going to move them there. Well, 
what is this? You can move two, right? Yep. Yeah. Whatever, we'll go there. Mm. And there. Because it really doesn't matter, I guess. No. You know what I mean? Goblin grunts too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put them there. Okay. All right. So that's that. And this goblin grunts. I'm gonna put him. Yeah, up here. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Is that cool? And that's it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to fight your sigil. Okay. So I get seven plus one. So I get eight for him. Mm -hmm. And I get three for my goblin so grunts. 11 dice again. Yeah. So roll your 11. to roll two defense dice. Okay. One for each attacker, and nothing. So you hit okay. me for four damage. I'm down to 16. All right. That's not good. All right. Um, <sighs> yeah, I guess that's it, right? Mm -hmm. So I move this down. There. This goes away. And that goes to two. And this goes to two. I forgot about that. All right. That's it. Yes. Yeah, All right. Big time. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I draw one. I will summon all spawn three menas. And I will play a heroic mana generator, the Eternal mm. River. Wow. And during the mana generation phase, one with the Eternal River is indestructible. Nice. I will pay one. And I will spawn the Eternal River right here. Hmm. Because it's not within your three mm -hmm. zone. Yeah. Cool. I spawn it next to my big guy. That's good. I have two mana left. And I will... That's very good, actually. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Uh, um... Hmm. All right, so I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. Move some guys around, I think. So I'm going to go... What's your range on your cave tools? Three. three. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And I'm going to move her one, two, three, four. Uh, she has a range of four. The, the rules with movement are if you move past an enemy unit, you must stop. For the first mm -hmm. time, but it doesn't apply to flying. Mm, right, because they can fly, fly through right. units and all that stuff. So she's going to attack your my kite rider, your kite rider, night rider, and she has an attack of three. Okay, three dice, please. What's your defense? Um, she has an attack of three. Mm -hmm. My defense is one. One. So you roll one. One hit. One hit. Okay, so I do one damage to you. Okay. So you take one damage. Mm -hmm. And but he has I the... block your damage. So I have two shields. Okay. So you blocked my damage. Mm -hmm. And well, I don't take a damage, though. You do. I hit you for one. Right. And you didn't roll a shield. Right, but I have a blue. I have one. That means you get defense. one shield roll. Oh, right, right, right. Right, okay. right, right. Uh, that tells you how many dice you roll. 
Right. That, that goes through and hits you. You retaliate, mm -hmm. and I blocked it. Okay. Right. All right. So he goes... He's at one. He's, he's at one? Yeah. Oh, you just gave me I that? I just gave you that. All right. I'm going to spend this counter. Well, you can't because Why? you have to do that on your turn. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. That's his attack. Instead of attacking, you can do that. Oh, instead of attacking? Yeah. That means combat action. Uh -oh. Okay. And it's in place of an attack. All right. My Sven mm -hmm. is going to shoot these cave trolls. Well, just one of them. This cave troll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he rolls three plus one. Okay. Two hits. Okay. And, and I get a defensive three. three. Okay. Yeah, so three hits go through. Three hits go through. Well, he gets two plus one, so three damage. Oh, and okay. you get the block. None. So three damage go through. So he's dead. He dies. Okay. All right. Uh, that ends my turn. I'm not going to do another action. Mm -hmm. And you can go. Okay. Draw like a ton of money. Oh, this is horrible. I get these cards I can't use. Now you can. Can I mulligan? You can trash a card. I can? And pay three mana to draw a new one. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Really it's called upcycling. Once per turn, a player may remove a card from their hand from the game and pay mm -hmm. three mana to draw a new one. Hmm. It's not a bad thing if you really need a card and you have a lot of mana. Yeah, that's true. And you have a lot of mana. How much do you have to pay? Three. Really? Yeah. To trash a card? Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess I'll do that. So I'll trash this card, pay three, mm -hmm. and just draw another card? Yep. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'll, this is like the only thing I can play. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is called Undermine. Destroy target common mana generator. Oh, that's so rude. Two. Why would you destroy your own mana generator? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll get rid of... Uh. Mm, this one, I guess. Who's undermining me? Undermine. <laughs> <laughs> Under yours. Under yours. Oh, I've right. just gotten up to a good point of that, so. I know. All right. So what are you going to do? I'm going to go here for, uh, okay, and for four. Mm, if I want to move these guys or not. This guy's so slow. <laughs> I'm just going to leave him there. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack that. Okay. So, wow, that's that. three guys. All right, so I have... Who's up there? Because I can't see, see that anymore. Three... Plus three, plus eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, fourteen dice. All right. That's ridiculous. I'll just do like five at a time. All right. Three. Can I have those dice too? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'm running out of space to do this. Four more dice. All right. I roll three defense dice, one for each, and nothing. So okay. that's three, that's six, four, seven. Seven. Holy crap, I'm down to nine. Ooh. Well, I'm at eight, so. All right. Eight. This isn't looking good. And. One. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's it. Right? Let's mm -hmm. take this back. Are you gonna do anything else? Um, I can't. I don't have any other like anything else okay. to do really. I mean, because this has to be an adjacent unit, so okay. I can't really do anything. Oh, actually, I could spend that and hit your sigil. No, you should have did. No, instead of combat, you rolled instead combat. of combat. Yep. Okay, okay. So you yeah. can't. Uh, I just want to keep doing damage. <laughs> I just want, I want okay, to Okay, so kill it. your oh. turn's up. 
Yeah. All right. I drew a card. I'm going to pull three mana this time. One, two, three. I'm gonna play. Uh, you're going to pull two mana. One, two. Ah, oh, you're right. And I'm going to play another mana. <laughs> <laughs> and build it over here so you can't touch it. What? Next to my hero. Oh, next to your hero. That's like the best thing about yeah. the warlords. You've got to keep like, them alive. I know. <laughs> right. I can't build anything out there. Uh, I'm going to move. Oh. I'm going to move one here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move one, two, th two. Mm -hmm. So I'm one, two, three, four, five, six away from your sigil. Even though that's there? Yep. That does. I thought that didn't count because you can't technically move through there. I'm not moving. I'm shooting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but you're still... Sh okay. Like, there's no, like, line of sight. Oh, there. okay. Um, like, I'm shooting them up in the air, and then right. they come down. Gotcha, gotcha. Onto your sigil. In a valley of arrows. In a valley of... <laughs> well, you saw what the valley of arrows does. Right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've experienced that. Okay, so, I'm going to attack your goblin grunts with okay. her, and she does three attack. What's his defense? What does that orc stain do? It's her defense. It reduces her defense. Oh, okay. Which doesn't matter. So I do one damage. Okay. What's my defense on him? Zero. Zero. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> so he's okay. off the board. So he's done. Sven is going to shoot your sigil again. Okay. With three dice plus one. He gets two damage. Mm -hmm. You get to roll one defense die. One. It takes one. So it goes down to seven. Okay. So it's nine to seven right now. My, for my next action turn, I'm going to pay three mana, mm -hmm. and I'm going to play the Runir Funeral Ritual. Mm. So, uh, count the number of summon cards in your discard pile. Okay. One. You two. Oh, me too? Yeah. Okay. All discard piles. All the summon cards? Yeah, anything that says it's people. Right, One, right, right. Two, three, four. I have four. I have two. Four, and you have two. So remove them from the game. They go the out two, of your discard. These yep. two? Any okay. creature summon cards. Oh, okay. Uh, your... What? Your goblin squad is dead now, so that goes in your discard. He's pile. dead? Yeah, I no, just killed not. your last one. Oh, no, you have one it? left. Oh, he's yeah. down here. Hey, get, give me back my goblin grunt. Hey, you you have. Okay, me. so you have two? Yeah. So they go out of the game. Okay. I have four. Right. So I now I heal my, mat, my sigil by mm -hmm. that amount, six. Oh, okay. My four plus your two. So oh, wow. That's I nice. To 15. Mm, you're going to need those. No, oh, am I? <laughs> All right. That's it for me. Okay. Your turn. All right. I only have one card right now. Mm. Was that good? Um, well, not really. Oh, right. You get mana now, right? What's that? You get mana now. I do, yeah, I know. I'm just thinking about this card. Um, yeah, I have a question. You have a question? I have a question. Right. So, so this is the mana phase, right? Yeah. I'm going to play a card now because I can, I can interrupt. Oh, okay. And I'm going to pay one mana. Mm-hmm. So one plus two mana tokens, that's three, removed from the target player's mana reserve. Oh, that's fine. It's an Elorian uprising. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Can't buy anything anyway, so. Uh, um, I guess I'm using these cards. <laughs> this, yeah, so I just pulled an interrupt card for the first time. Okay. But it, I'm not really sure when I use it. I well, there's an interrupt time? phase in the mana phase. Right. right? So mana phase interrupt. But it's, is it during your mana phase or mine? Uh, you would only interrupt during my turn. Right. Because you're interrupting me. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're interrupting me. <laughs> 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 uh, you get another one at the first action phase. Right. So like I would take my action and then you interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. And then I would do my movement, then you interrupt. Then I do my second act. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. And then okay that makes more sense. Combat abilities I interrupt. Like, I got it. I got it. It I got gives it. you a chance to stop me from doing gotcha, stuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Or like to foil my plans. Yeah. Foiled again. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, I understand that. So what would you like to do? Are you going to summon anything? No. Okay, so you're going to go right to movement. Yeah, okay. because I don't have anything to summon. All right. <laughs> and... Mm, I don't even think I'm going to move anybody. Okay. I don't think. You're just going to leave Sven out there. Hanging in the wind. Hanging in the wind. Shooting things. Shooting stuff. I guess I'm gonna do this guy one, two, three, four, five, right? Mm-hmm. So he'll go there. And this guy will go right there maybe. Okay. And that's it. And then I'll just fight with these guys. All right. So I get eight and what else? Uh, three. Eight, nine, ten, eleven? Yep. Okay. Here's three more for ten. Okay. Roll them all plus one. Jeez. Oh, did I move this? I think you did. Was it there? I think so. <sighs> that one shouldn't have counted. That's a good roll, but... I don't like that there's no place to roll your dice. You need a dice tray out here. Well, where's our dice tray? Eh, it's away right now. It's packed. Five. Right, I five. get to roll two defense dice. Yep. All right, that's not bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Down to ten. Man, okay. I don't have many rounds left anymore. All right. All right. Um... Are you going to attack me with your... Yeah, goblin? I'm going to attack you with my goblin, so... You have three. He gets three. You have one. I have one, that's correct. One attack. Oh! It went through. Okay. He takes damage. So he's got one damage. Okay. He's actually pretty strong. He's got five health. Yeah, he's pretty strong anyway. All right. Well, let's see. Now that's not good. Now I, now I need to deal with that. Exactly. All right, so your turn's over? My turn is over. I'm okay. going to turn this clock down. Dial it down. It really confuses Six me. Six more health. Like... I'm going to... One more big volley, I think. I uh, okay. And this actually comes off. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to... One, two, three, four mana. That's not bad. For a change. And what do I want to play here? Ooh. Oh, my. I'm going to play a summon card, the favored ones. Mm. They are elf rangers. I get two of them. And they're going to come in right here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. One here and one there. Okay. They have a range of three. Mm -hmm. And they have what's called defensive stance. Okay. So during your opponent's movement phase, if any units move in range, you may choose one and only one of those units to attack on the first space it comes into range. Uh, what does that mean? Well, you're already in my range, so it doesn't matter. But mm -hmm. say you were out here. Yeah. And then you walked here. They automatically The minute you fight. stop here, they automatically shoot you. Oh, okay. Offensively. Offensively. They shoot at Offensively. you. Offensively. Yeah. It's like they're defensively waiting for you. But you, right. since you're already in my range, it doesn't matter. Um... I probably should have put one a little bit further back. But it doesn't matter. So they're out. That's going to cost me all four of my mana. Mm-hmm. And Sven is going to hightail out of here. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Because <laughs> he's so scared. And he's going to wait there. This guy is going to fly. One, two, three, four. And hit the goblin. So I'm attacking the goblin. Um, I'm going to interrupt you. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm interrupting Excuse you. Excuse me? Yeah. I can do that, right? Uh, you said I can. Uh, during the movements, yeah. Yeah, because you just moved. Yep, now now we're going to attack, but I'm going to interrupt, interrupt your move. Is, is movement phase A, 5A. Okay. Five, <laughs> movement phase 5A. Yes. So I'm going to play this Felgard war... 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 <laughs> War cry. The war cry. It's like, <laughs> I um, So I can sacrifice a unit with an attack of three or more. 
to search my deck for a summon card of my choice and put it in my hand and then reshuffle my deck. Okay. So I'm going to do that. All right, play it. Uh, all right, so I'm going to play that, and that costs three, mm -hmm. right? So who are you going to sacrifice? That guy. He doesn't have an attack of three. He's got an attack of two. Yeah, plus one. I don't know if that's what it means. He, he has an attack value of three. All right, I'll let you have it. Right? Tell me I'm wrong. All right. Usually that means printed value, but I'll go. I'll let you have it. Would you like to check the rule book? No. Go for it. I was very excited to use my interrupt. Okay, I'll let you have it. Okay. Uh, all right, so I sacrificed him, and now I get to look. This goes in my discard. All right, so this guy goes away then. Yeah. He goes in the discard pile. And... Oh, you're so excited. I am. You really that desperate to get more? I don't have the, the thing is I have one card right now. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Wow. Like I have one card and I have nothing to do. That's surprising. I want to interrupt your interrupt. <laughs> I don't think you can interrupt my interrupt. I can't. I couldn't if I had something that let me do that. No mana. No mana. No mana. <laughs> it's no mana. Have you decided? Uh, Alright, I've chosen my card. Did you shuffle that up? Nope. Oh, give me an I'll shuffle it. <clears throat> uh, I can shuffle oh, you it. Shuffle. Okay. <laughs> I am then only going to be able to attack with Sven because you took away my opportunity to attack the flyer. Yep. So I'm going to attack this goblin grunt. He's within my range of six. Uh, can I have one more attack die, please? Mm -hmm. So you get three attack. You get no defense, nope. though. Just bang. Done. Yeah. All right, so he's gone. Mm -hmm. These guys, you actually get to discard that now. Good. Mm -hmm. I know you're happy to have them off the board. Uh, I have no more mana. That is going to end my turn. Okay. So you can draw a card and draw your mana. And you are ready to begin. <laughs> um all right <sighs> hmm interesting all right i'm gonna bring out the butcher of lucatan 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 um he has backswing so that's the fist I was talking about, the backswing. Ah, the fist. After the attack phase, units with backswing may take one additional attack phase. Wow, that's crazy. So he gets like a double attack. Yeah, he gets like double attack. And he's a six. Wow. Yeah. He's a butcher. The butcher of Lucatan. The butcher of Lucatan. And he's going to cost me four. That's crazy. Okay. Where are you spawning him? Um, Probably at my fancy zeal location. Oh, so he can immediately go and attack? Well, he's not going to be able to attack, but he's going to spawn. Like here. Well, he comes out with zeal, so he can move and attack. Yeah, but he's not going to be able to reach anybody. He only has uh, a range of three. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, so, yeah, I do know what you mean. I mean, I guess I could attack you. I could kill your guy. Yeah. Um. Mm. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I'll do that. What do these guys do again? They shoot arrows. Well, yeah. That's a defensive stance, so if somebody moves in their range. It's just if somebody moves in their range, yeah. then they attack. Yep. All right. Gotcha. All right, so we'll do that. I think I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. And... And he's already in their range, but yeah. if he moves closer... No, I don't think that matters. It doesn't affect it. I think when he it. goes from out of my range to in my range. Oh, I see. All right, I'm going to hang on to that. Okay. Um, all right, I'm ready, so let's fight. You're not moving anybody else? Fight. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could move my cave trolls. What's their range? Three? Yeah. All right, I'll move these guy, this guy out of the way, maybe. Well... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move this guy 
here. Okay. And fight. 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 All right, go ahead. All right. Okay. So let's start here. All right. So he has an attack of five. And I have a defense of two. three. Two. Why, right. do you have a modifier? No, I don't. Okay. You're right. Defense of two. Wow, five attack, that guy? Well, he has four plus one. Oh, jeez. So he gives you three. Two. Two hits. And she has three health, so she takes two damage. Um, and I didn't have any hits on the way back, right? What? I didn't have any hits. No. Okay. I just had a shield. All right. Um, who else? The Butcher of Lucatan? So what happened here? She's... <laughs> you, you hit her for two damage. I did? Yes. So she has two damage? She has three health. So she has one more health. She's not dead. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. The Butcher of so Lucatan. So Butcher of Lucatan is up. He has six... Seven. He has seven. And I have one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Roll your attack. Hold on. Oh. Two hits. Two. So he's up to three damage. Mm -hmm. and, and then he gets to attack again. After the attack phase, units with backswing may take one additional attack phase. Wow, that's so crazy. I feel like this is two dice. Three. Three. Two. That's enough to kill him. So you killed my warlord. Yes. You're so happy about that. All right, so he's off the board. You can put that in your discard. Okay. And my limit's still five, but now I lose one every round. Yeah. Like you do. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Sigil. The sigil. Can I have all the dice, please? Oh, so you're going to get what? Eight. How many is that? Eight? Yep. Wow. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> Down to two health. That's crazy. All eight. Oh man, that was funny. All right, you're okay. up. You can do anything. I'm up. Oh, for my other action phase. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I don't really have any other actions to do. So this is just gonna go to five. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Oh my god. I had this earlier. One, two, three, four. That would have been awesome. Uh, mm, okay. I'm going to cast an aura for three. Mm -hmm. The Blessing of Runier. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it on uh, target summon card. So my favored ones mm -hmm. are going to get plus one attack and plus two defense. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start by moving them. Mm -hmm. One, two, and then moving her. One, two. Oh man. <laughs> I can't get her in range. Mm -mm. I can move her away though. I'm going to move her up one more for four. Oh, they have a range of four. Yeah, you're okay. fine. Okay. One, two, three, four. So I can move. If you're already adjacent to a, a, an enemy, you can move around them and away. Right. Okay. It's only when you first come in contact with a new enemy that yeah. you must stop. Okay. So that's why I must stop now. Gotcha. I don't, I, not that I must stop, that I was able to move away from you. Right. And I'm going to shoot both of them okay. at this. And I'm going to move him here and attack your... Moss Ogre. Moss Ogre. So I'm going to attack him first with my Sky Rider. He gets three attack. What's your defense? What? What are you talking about? Oh, the Moss Ogre? Yeah. Three. All right. So I roll three attack. Mm -hmm. And I don't 
hit anything. Okay, so I don't really have to roll. Well, you don't want to hit me back. Oh, I get backswing, right? Yeah. Well, retaliation. Or retaliation, yeah. yeah. And you hit me for two. Yes, that kills you. And that kills my elf. <laughs> <laughs> that That'll was... teach your Skyrider elf. That's yours. That's gone. Skyrider's dead, so that was bad. Uh, the last thing I can do is attack your sigil. You might kill it. And hope that I do enough damage. So I get Six, three, right? four dice each. Oh, because they get plus one attack. Correct. There you and go. You should be able to defense. do it. So this could be the final countdown. Countdown. One, two, three, four, five. You get to roll two defense dice. Oh, man. <laughs> Move your dice out of the way. Please. Yes! <laughs> Three damage goes through. That knocks you to two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? No. Your turn. Okay. Draw a card. Take your stinking mana. And what are you going to do? All right. I am going to... Well, this goes down to one. No, no, because it's your turn. Actually, yeah, you just turned it down to one. Mine goes down oh, to one. Oh, yours goes down to one because you didn't turn it down. Yeah. If it's... I can find it. All right, so I have one health. I basically have one round left to end this. Mm. All right. I'm going to pay two mana. I'm employing this heroic aura, mm -hmm. goblin technology. Look at that goblin. Wow. Uh, target summon card gains two attack. Mm -hmm. And when a unit with goblin technology attacks, deal one critical damage to that unit at the end of your turn. Oh, and I'm going to put that on my... Where's my moss ogres? Did you discard my moss ogre card. Oh, did I? Yes. Oh, well, it's out there. You're, so, <laughs> you're like, here's your card. Put this in the discard. <laughs> All right. Um... Mm -hmm. That's surprising. I didn't realize we discarded him. Okay. So, but I'll just pretend like he's there because he's definitely there. All right. Um, and I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to attack. Okay. So, what do you get? Like 15 dice? I get eight. Seven, nine, eight, nine, ten. ten. Ten attacks. You get all the dice. All the dice. Ten shields. Ten shields. How awesome You know would I would, be? though. How mad would you be? Uh, that's just three. it. You ended it. Boom. Four or five. And they give you one critical damage anyway. Yeah. So. No, you get one critical damage. Oh, I do? Yeah. No. When a unit with goblin technology attacks, deal one critical damage to that unit. Yeah, that unit. Oh, that. Oh, I it thought it meant you. the unit that you do. Yeah. It oh. Hurts you. Either way. Yeah. You killed All my right. sigil. Yes. All right. What a game. Oh, what time is it? I don't know. Let's talk about <laughs> okay. it. So there you have it. Sigil. I killed your sigil. Powers of War. My sigil fell. I'm very proud of myself. It was so close. It was very close. Yeah, yeah. so I'd like to see how it plays um, in a game where I don't let you win. Oh, Because it would be kind of interesting right. where I don't hold back. And I, yeah. That's so right. in any case, let's talk about the game. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start from the beginning. So mm -hmm. um, we talk about replayability. So what do you think? We've played this a couple times. Now, granted, because this was a this is a kickstarter preview mm -hmm. kind of thing we have the two factions to choose from the actual game will come with many more. four i believe yeah i think four come with the kickstarter and there are more to follow and expansions right. and, and and such so um but with that said mm -hmm. a couple things to add to replayability yes. here right you've got the the many different factions who you've seen two of um which we can certainly say are very different yeah in their gameplay so. right um, but there's also a deck building mechanic that we didn't even go into. Whereas, mm -hmm. when I say deck building, uh, more or less deck crafting, because that deck is the basic starter deck. Right. There are different cards you can add to it. Yeah. And there are cards you can take out to sort of customize the deck mm -hmm. to your playthrough. Right. Right. So you would have your, I mean, there's standard deck building rules that apply where you have to have so many mana pools, so many of this type of card, so many of this type of card, but you can sort of seed it uh, to your, to better suit your strategy, similar to what you would do for like a, a Magic the Gathering type game. So that adds, you know, a whole nother layer of, of replayability to it, I think. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So pretty high for sure. Okay. Excellent. Um, what about weight? 
Wait, uh, it's, you know what, I wouldn't say it's light, but it's probably more uh, mid-weight. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's heavy. No, it's definitely not yeah. a heavy game. Um, it's certainly light in the fact that the rules are very streamlined, mm -hmm. uh, very simple to learn. But I think the weight comes into the complexity of strategy, into yeah. sort of the interpretation of the, of the um, iconography and yeah. sort of the, some of the combo mechanics and some of the, the uh, like the auras, I think, was where some of that complexity well, comes in. Well, and also in. to the strength of the other player or players, too. True. You know what I mean? Yep. So. Um, all right. What about components? Again, being a preview, yeah, we don't this always talk about components, but based on what we saw. It's always tough, but I, I do have to say, like, this, in my opinion, this game as it is in the demo copy yeah. is production quality. Oh yeah, it felt, I mean, it felt and played like yeah. it was With the exception of a few yeah. cars that were that didn't have art, mm -hmm. which we've seen a yeah. hundred times right. on, on Kickstarter games. Um, aside from that, like the card quality, the card stock was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, the board was nice, solid. Uh, board it wasn't warped right. it didn't bend it, it laid flat which is yeah. <laughs> nowadays it seems like it's it's, it's hard, like hard to come a, by yeah a board that lays flat yeah I don't know why but um the you know the dice I don't know if those are the dice that are going to come with it there's probably more uh, little tokens and stuff to represent health or whatnot I think the um aren't the warlords are going to be minis I, I've heard that I'm not sure you definitely want to look at the Kickstarter yeah. page to see if that's really the case um, I know that was mentioned earlier on to us but I don't mm -hmm. know if that's still the case today but right. um, definitely go check that out if you're interested but I think that would be a pretty cool yeah add to have, yeah I couldn't imagine playing this with all minis because uh, I think the stand-ups and I know there's certain people who don't really like stand-ups like those little stand-up yeah. guys instead of minis they prefer the minis but then it becomes more of a a minis game where you've got to keep referring to your cars and say, okay, what was my defense yeah. rating? What was my this? What yeah. is my movement on this guy? I'm one of those guys. Yeah, well, you're one of those guys. But the, the actual stand-ups, you know, not only do they have nice art, mm -hmm. you know, but they have like all of the, the stats on them that you need to know, mm -hmm. you know, right there on the board. And it, it, to me, it helps. I prefer it that way. I yeah, think for this, to I like it. Honest. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. But component-wise, thumbs up. Really nice. Cool. Yep. What about theme? Theme is cool. I mean, it's fantasy. Yeah. True, pure fantasy. Uh, elves, uh, orcs, orcs, humans. You know, that's all we play with. I know there's like undead and there's like demons and all that stuff coming. Um, but you know, it's all definitely uh, a theme that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Not sure if you do. Yeah. But for me, yeah, I, I like the theme. Yeah, this isn't a theme that I'm normally drawn to. Yeah. Um, like Anthony said, I've not played like Magic the Gathering and yeah. all that stuff. Um, but that said, I enjoy the theme in this. It wasn't overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It wasn't difficult to understand. Yeah, and it wasn't like over so. the top fantasy. Yeah. It was, it was what like, you would expect of fantasy. Right. Elves shooting bows and yeah. orcs. Uh, goblins, you know, coming in mass, you know, horde. They're, they, right. they, and the deck plays out to the theme. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I think the deck structure, the character structure, and the theme all tie together quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we so, agree. Very with good. That. Um, fun factor. It's actually more fun than I anticipated. Yeah, it's more fun than I thought too. Right. So. We don't we don't normally go, and as you could tell by our channel, we don't normally play these types of straight one versus one combat games mm -hmm. we do more of the european uh like engine builder yeah. tile placement more you know just pure strategy point salad type games um where this is polar opposite of that this is right. a dice chucking ameritrash just get on the board and kill things yeah. um and to be honest it's a nice change of pace yeah to mix that in with some of the heavier games because it's just okay you know what i don't really need to think about you know how many tunics I'm gonna sew this right. round uh, if I have enough cloth. You right. know, it's more or less I'm just gonna get out there, roll dice, and kill things. Right. And I think that's cool. Yeah, so, I would agree. Definitely had fun. I, and I had fun with it too. Yeah, so. surprisingly, yeah. Yeah, that says a lot. Um, setup. Uh, setup's actually not bad at all. It's easy in this game. Yeah, because you start with none of the pieces on the board, right. but your your uh, your warlord, and you know you've got your deck, you shuffle, mm -hmm. and that's it. I think if yeah. you if you want to add in deck building at that point, then that obviously it's going to add some time. But you do that before you sit down and play the game. Right. Again, it, it kind of speaks again to what we're normally playing. Mm -hmm. Take like ten minutes to get to set up like everything. Yeah. Um, but this is very different. So. Sure. Yeah. Without a very doubt. Very easy. Mm -hmm. um, so audience, who is this for? All of that said. This is for war gamers, I think. And more of the tactical strategist. Mm -hmm. um, someone who wants to get in, who likes... Uh, this would be a nice like crossover for someone who plays miniatures games, but wants a little bit less 
you know, serious, more um, quick to the table, less rules intensive, and um, you know, I think that would fit with that audience pretty well. You know, so, uh, I think those who are kind of getting into sort of the war type games, this would be a nice entry. Uh, I think people who play Magic the Gathering. Is this something I said? <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> People who like Magic the Gathering, well, the dog was doing some crazy <laughs> stuff just from, The dog got stuck, to the got stuck on my mic wire, but All right, <laughs> he worked his Sorry. way out. He did. In any case, Magic the Gathering, um, any of those types of deck builders, this is, if you took Magic and you turned it into a board game, this is what I, I would imagine it would play like. Mm. And personally, I prefer this than an Amet. Really? Is this really happening right now? I, I'll continue, if you don't mind. So I would prefer this Magic, the, you know, this version of a Magic the Gathering type game than just cards. Because it, uh, to me, it's more immersive, and I like immersion in my games. And I just think laying cards in a tableau and and you know just playing out mana cards and not having any any way to sort of attack another player's mana source, you know, kind of just it just the game just tends to, to scale and ramp up until everybody's got all this stuff <laughs> going. So yeah, good. What's next? That's it. That's it. Conclusions. Uh, to be quite honest, I I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I, I think the art is really good. I think the art was beautiful. The art to was be phenomenal. Honest. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really good. Um, if you know my taste, like this game definitely speaks to what I like in art. Yeah. Uh, especially in a fantasy themed game, like right. this, this is where I, where it's at for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really appreciated that. I think the, um, like I said, the components were really nice. Uh, the game plays really fast, and it it actually, I just love how the game. Like I felt like I had you by a landslide early on. I th I think you did because you killed my my warlord mm -hmm. like right off the bat. Right off the bat. I never even got a chance to really use him. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you like you had gotten like a lot of other people out on the board before I was really able to. Mm -hmm. And then like I started getting ahead of you, and then you started killing my sigil. Yeah. And I thought I was like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm done. Because I thought I had so many people on the board. And right. then I, I took a look at the board and I was like, oh my god, I only have like two or three guys out right now. Yep. And I had nothing in my hand because I was burning through cards so mm -hmm. fast that um, I didn't have anybody to bring out. So yeah, so yeah. it was just it was crazy. constantly swinging back and forth. And I think that's awesome because it's it's just a roller coaster yeah you don't know who's who's got any shot at winning and then it literally came down to two points at the end yeah uh, which is really cool so i think that's that's awesome you know i really didn't feel like any of us got blown out of the water no because no, yeah that's where it's just not as fun well that's yeah exactly like when you start like if you were really like killing me by a landslide mm -hmm. it's just not fun anymore right like you're like all right just get this game over with yeah. already and i think you know? that the 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 decks were so different that the, the units are so different and yeah. yet you know, we were both able to, to do the same amount of damage to each other. Right. Using um, different strategies. Using different strategies, which was really cool. Well, and what I, the thing about this game that, like, kind of sums everything up for me is that this is not the kind of game that I would normally be into. It's mm -hmm. not something I would normally pick up and be excited about playing. But I enjoyed it, and I want to play again using your, like, using the, um, what do you call that thing? The alliance. The alliance that I mean, your the alliance faction. versus like my my horde because yeah, and I'd like to play the horde just because for the challenge. I, I watched you do certain things. Right. I'm like, oh, I would probably do it this way. Right, right. And I'd like to see how how much different it yeah. would play out if I were to yeah. use them in a certain way that I felt. And I wasn't expecting it. Like yeah. I wasn't expecting to, to like have that as a takeaway. Right, and that's 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 pretty cool. I mean, that's a yeah. really good sign. Mm -hmm. Yep. So so there you have it. Uh, Sigil Powers of War. It is currently on Kickstarter. I believe it's a few days in. Uh, I I recommend checking it out. Um, definitely, if you are into like I said, magic. Yeah. And you like these sort of uh, you know roll and attack type games, and you're into fantasy. I mean, this nails it on all all cylinders. Like this is really, 
really well done in my opinion yeah, yeah very well done really well done i can't wait to see the other other factions because i think that'll just yeah that'll just That'll open really this cool. game wide open yeah mm -hmm. so cool cool thanks a lot uh we'll put the kickstarter link down uh down below in the comments uh hope you enjoyed the video uh please subscribe we'll see you next time see ya